Kids, learn to ride your bicycles. Go ride your bicycles like Smile Chase. Yeah. So anyway, I got a UU match here against Fizzy uh, Stardust. So and this was on his open challenge day because you know what? I feel like it. So anyway, um, he leads up with a slow king. I have never seen that slow king lead before in my entire life. Never. I never seen it. So I go for Thunder Wave because, you know, maybe I was predicting a switch. I don't know what crossed my mind there, but you know what? I was like, you know what? Let's get some hacks in. Alright. So I go for Thunder Wave and he crits me with Surf, which was gay. And then I do get my rocks up on the turn. He does get the Parax, so that kind of makes up for it. And um, now I'm going to, yeah, I U turn out and I go into Michael Fable here. And I'm going to get my Toxic Orb, which is pretty damn nice. And, um,. He's gonna continue on surfing me, so I don't see leftover, so I'm assuming it's like a spec slow king, but I could be wrong. So he predicts my soft boy very nicely, he goes into his um Henderson, and I see leftover, so I'm assuming it's like you know, it's like a thick fat um Hariyama, not like a guts one, because usually guts they just run um flame warpers, so so. Yeah, I bring my Uxie here just for Dead Father and just because, yeah, I know he could take a payback if it's not boosted or anything like that, so. Go for Psychic, I break his sub and payback does not kill me, which is pretty nice. Um, and here I should have predict the switch here, go for a U-turn, but I'm like, you know what, eh, Psychic, whatever, it'll do decent damage to his Loki if it comes in or not. Um. And now I'm going to U-turn because, you know, it's super effective, it'll do a lot, but it doesn't take him out, which is fine because, you know, I'm just going to bring my playable here, and she's going to take that surf very, very nicely, and I'm just going to take that motherfucker out with a seismic toss. Oh yeah! So, now he brings out his hand run, and I took a really big risk here. I go for the trick, because I'm thinking, yeah, if he's running life orb, sub puncher, I'm hoping that he runs thick fat and um, hopefully he's not running guts because that would be, that would be like totally gay for me because that would definitely screw over my team a little bit so yeah um, now I bring my Arcanine here because it's the only physical wall I have that can take on a Hariyama and now I'm just gonna continue on to stall this Hariyama out because I do have an attacking move on this thing, which is Flamethrower, but I'm pretty sure with the f Flamethrower coming from a bulky Arcanine, I'm pretty sure it's not going to take out the sub, because the Hariyama has thick fat, so that means my fire attacks are cut in half, which means, you know, it's not going to do a whole lot, so I know it's not going to break the sub. Plus, Hariyamas, they have like a lots and lots of HP, so I'm pretty sure... Arcanine is not going to take it out, the sub with the flamethrower, so I'm just going to stay here, just Toxic Storm, because that's all I can do with this thing. And he's just going to go for Stone Edge, hoping to get a crit, but he doesn't get it. And um, now he's just going to die by the poison, which is pretty damn nice. So that's that could have like, screwed my team over, without a doubt. So he brings in his uh, Milotic, and I just go into Uxie, just for Dead Fodder. Or sleep far if he does go for hypnosis. He goes for hydro pump. I was like, oh crap, hydro pump. And I don't see life orb or leftover, so I'm assuming it's either scarf or specs. So I bring Michael Fable, and I'm just gonna go for thunder wave because you know why not? I'll paralyze something. So I paralyze his incoming Miss Magius, which is pretty damn nice. And uh, I know Kopeo cannot even touch that thing, so I'm ha I have to switch out. And I'm gonna go into my Rage Steel here, which is like a very good matchup for me because even with that Miss Magius having HP fighting, I know it will not do a lot to me because look at that Rage Steel takes that like a freaking beast. So this is a pretty good advantage of me, for me, yeah, for me. So 
I just go for Iron Head because you know he's probably gonna bring in something that can take on the Reggie Steel. So I'm just gonna go for Iron Head, get some damage in, and he brings in his Hound Doom. And um, yeah, and Iron Head does like a quarter of damage, which is pretty nice. Does like the same amount of damage as Stout Rocks would have done, so that's pretty cool. Um, he's carrying a leftover, so his Fire Blast will not be doing a lot as you think. And here, you know what, I just play obvious, but, you know, I just want to be safe, because, you know, he might be thinking that the next Fire Blast will kill me, but I don't know. So, I just wait for the State Thunder Wave, he does bring in his, mess, his Miss Magus, to predicting that, which is a good play on his part. But I'm just gonna go back into my Reg Seal here, and he does get the Parax, but I don't think it matters, because, you know, even with plus one, you know, even with plus one, um... Hidden power fighting, I mean, it's still not going to do a lot. So, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, so I'm just going to go for Iron Head here. And, um, yeah, I'm just hoping for some Parafusion. Or, yeah, Paraflinch. Paraflinch, yeah, Paraflinch. Why did I say Fusion? That's stupid. Anyway, um, he goes for Hidden Power Fighting. Doesn't do a lot. And I'm just going to take this motherfucker out with that Iron Head. Oh, yeah. So, I'm looking pretty good here. Um, he's gonna bring his Horror Pop, which is his uh, Hound Doom. And um, he's gonna go for Fire Blast. And um, since I know he's running leftovers, I'm pretty sure I can live this. And I actually do, which is pretty nice. And um, I thought he was gonna live this Iron Head, but I actually take him out, which is pretty damn nice. So, yeah, that was pretty good. So now he's gonna bring in his Venusaur, and I'm like, okay, it comes to sleep power, but no, he goes for a curse. I'm thinking, oh crap, that's not good. So I go for a rest here, you know, just to restore my HP back to full. Because, yeah, I need to be at full HP if I want to take on this thing. And I'm at plus one, so we're kind of like tired right now. So he gets up another curse, so he's just like one curse ahead of me. And I'm gonna go for sleep talk, and I get the Iron Head, which is kind of like... What I don't want, I wanted to get the curse, but you know, that's just my luck, so that kind of sucks. So he skates off another curse, so I'm like, oh crap, this is not good. But I do sleep talk and I do get the curse off, which is awesome because that's just gonna save me some trouble, you know. So now he goes for earthquake, and this is where it gets really, really gay. You have no idea how gay this is. This got this, this pissed me off. Look, he got a crit. Now, oh, I was like, oh, rage. I was like, oh, that was so gay. So, I had like a backup plan. Alright, so I'm gonna bring an Arcanine. I'm just gonna go for Will O' Wisp, because, you know, I can, like, totally take that thing on with my Arcanine, because, you know, I'm pro it like that. Because, Riv has a back, always have a backup plan, because I always has a plan. Not really, but just go along with the flow, okay, guys? Thank you. So. Um, I put my, um, Colfable here on my lot take. He misses Hydro Pump, which kind of matter because he might have two hit KO me. I'm really not so sure, but if you guys want to calc that, go ahead and knock yourself out. Um, so, but it wouldn't matter because I do have a Feraligar on this team, so it probably doesn't matter. So, yeah, I go for Thunder Wave. I paralyze his Venusaur, which is like, you know what, let's go for some Haxes again. So I'm gonna go for flamethrower, and um, it's gonna do a lot actually. So that's pretty nice. I was actually expecting this thing to be like specially bulky, but see how much that did. I'm not too sure. Hmm. But he did say he was bulky, but I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm just gonna go for flamethrower because you know what? I want that thing dead and stuff. So go flamethrower. And in comes his my tech. Now here I have plans so I can finish this game for good. I'm gonna leave in my Arcanine in for Deathwater. Now this is like the safest play I could make because there could be a chance where he can crit my Feraligator. And I really don't want him to do that. So I'm gonna bring in my Feraligator and he's gonna go for Hydro Pump. He was predicting the Ice Punch, predict, you know, predicting me to predict his Feraligator, his Venusaur switch, but I know that if I go for Dragon Dance, I will have a better advantage of taking out his Venusaur with an Ice Punch at plus one. So after you know, 
after him missing him with the um, Hydro Pump. He's gonna bring his Venusaur, and I'm just gonna, yeah, I do get up to plus two, and I'm just gonna finish off the rest of his team with Feralga. So, good game. Go check out his, his channel. Link's in the description down there. And I will see you guys next time. So, yeah, peace out, you bitches. Sweet,